welcome to Lesson Lab. Today we're going to be talking about 3D shapes and I have a special shape for you to look at today. Have you ever seen anything that looks like this? You have! Do you know its special 3D shape name? It is! It's a cube! Can you say cube with me? Cube! Good job! So today we are going to be talking all about cubes. So let's sing our song so that we can remember all about 3D shapes. If you don't know it, that's okay. You can listen to me first and then we'll sing it together. Ready? 3D shapes are three-dimensional, three-dimensional, three-dimensional. 3D shapes are three-dimensional, length, width, height. Cylinder, cone, sphere, and cube, pyramid, prism, too. 3D shapes are all around. Where can they be found? All right, let's sing it together, ready? 3D shapes are three-dimensional, three-dimensional, three-dimensional. 3D shapes are three-dimensional, length, width, height. Cylinder, cone, sphere, and cube, pyramid, prism, too. 3D shapes are all around, where can they be found? Hmm, I wonder where they can be find, found. We're gonna be able to look for some today. But let's take a look first at our cube. What do we notice about our cube? Hmm, do you see a special shape around the outside? You do? Yeah, you're right, I see a square too. This cube has lots of squares on it. Now remember, 3D shapes usually have faces and their face is where they sit flat. And do we sit on our face? No, you're right, but that's where 3D shape sits, so it can't move around. Let's see, if I hold it here, does it move? No. What about here? No. What about here? No. Here? No. Here? No. Here? No, you're right. So let's count and see how many faces a cube has. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. It has six faces. Now, is it a circle like the cone and the cylinder? No, it has a square face. So a cube has six square faces. Good job. Now I have some posters to show you of the word cube. Let's take a look. Here is the word cube, k -k cube. Do you see the C at the beginning? cube. So sometimes you'll see the cube drawn like this because remember a cube is three-dimensional and not flat like a square. A cube. Good job. So you might see it look like this or let's take a look at this one. See the dotted lines to show you that the cube is not flat. It's three-dimensional. Good job. Cube. So you might also see it drawn like this with the dotted lines on it. Great job. So we know a cube is a 3D shape and it has how many faces? Six, you got it, six faces. So let's see if we can think or find some items that are a cube. Let's see, hmm, ooh, I borrowed this toy from my baby. Do you hear its little rattle inside? This is one of his blocks, he has a few of them. And what shape does it look like? You got it, it looks like a cube. So a block can be a cube. And let's see, how many faces does this cube have? One, two, three, four, five, six. It has six faces, so it must be a cube. Good job, so a block is also a cube. Now, I'm sure you've played with one of these when you're playing a game. Do you know what it's called? You're right, a die or a dice if you have more. Let's see how many faces does the dice have? One, well, let's start with this way, ready? One, two, ah, <laughs> three, four, five, six. It has six faces. And do you wanna know a little trick to remember how many faces that a cube has? Think about when you're playing a game and you roll the dice. What number do you always want to get that makes you go the farthest? You're right. You always want to roll a six. 
because when you roll a six, you get to go fur the furthest. So if there's six dots on a dice, there are six faces on a cube. That might help you remember how many faces a cube has. Six, so a dice is also a cube. Let's see, I have some more pictures to show you of some cubes. So here is a pic another way to show you a picture of a cube. See, it has the dotted line around the bottom. Here is a cube. Let's see what else I have. We have a, <gasps> what is that? A box, great job, a box is a cube. Have you ever had one of these boxes dropped off at your front door from Amazon? An Amazon box is a cube, good job. Now you might like to get these on your birthday or for a special day. Yeah, or give it to a friend, it's a present or a gift. A gift is a cube because it looks like a box. Good job, it has six faces. A present is a cube. And another version of what I showed you earlier, you might have this at school in the block center. It's a wooden block or an alphabet block. It is also a cube because it has six faces. Great job. Thank you so much for learning about cubes with me today. I have this fun little, oops, where did I put it? Oh, it's hiding behind me. I have this fun little book for us today all about cubes. And it says, I see cubes. Color by, and right here is where you're gonna write your name. So first thing you're gonna do is get to color the cube because that's the shape that we talked about today, cube. Let's see what other cubes we're gonna color. Ooh, there's the thing that gets dropped off at our door from Amazon. A box, good job, box is a cube. And here's what we use when we're playing a game. Dice, great job, so we'll color the dice. And on the back of the book, we have a block. Great job. Thank you so much for learning about cubes with me. I'll see you later. Until next time, bye. Thanks for joining us for the lesson. At the Kindergarten Connection, we are all about making learning fun for students and for teachers. Be sure you check out the quick links below or head to thekindergartenconnection.com where you can get more resources for your classroom and request your invitation to our pre-K and kindergarten teacher membership, the Print and Play Club. Happy teaching!